Hi, the interview you are about to see with the incredible director, Russell Mulcahy, was conducted for May Day Homestay Gay Play, the 20th anniversary Queers Folk cast and crew reunion, all to raise money for Centerlink. If you like what you see and you're a fan of Queers Folk, please consider making a donation to Centerlink at the link below. Thank you. Hello? Yes. Hey, hey, Russell Mulcahy. Oh my God, look at that. That's You're bizarre. Hello, <laughs> sir. Hello, Scott. How are you? Hello. Hey, Peter. Oh, my God. How are you, Russell? It's nice to see you. There you are. Look at you. Oh, gallery view. Okay, hang on. Yeah, if you click on gallery view. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Otherwise, you have very small little minions at the top. Oh, we're always yeah. small minions to you. We won't have to you now. <laughs> so, so what do you remember about, about Queer's Folk? What do you remember about doing the pilot? What do you remember about... Uh, coming back to see us a few episodes later. What, what? Uh... Those three, was three episodes together, three hours? Three, yeah. yeah, three hours, I was the pilot. I'll yeah. share, I have a little picture I'm gonna share with you. Spark your memory, there you are. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> look at that, now that's okay. And there's, there's Tom Best in the background. Tom the Best DC, in the back, yeah. Which okay. I think he, he did most of the episodes, didn't he? He, he, did, he, he did all of them. He, yeah, he DP'd all that and then started directing some later on. What's just, wrong with your uh, eye there, Scott? Have you, have you got like conjunctivitis or something? What's I, uh, <laughs> I think someone did some really bad uh, de-reddening of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Look at that bunch. I remember Look that night. That that bunch. One night. That, that was, was the, time, wasn't it? Where was that? Was that a rap party or something or what? No, that was at Taya's house. That was within the first week when we started, we had a big uh, barbecue or something at Taya's house in her backyard. Yeah, right. Uh, that was all yeah. us just getting to know each other still. So everyone, looks so, everyone looks so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it was just such a wonderful time. Um, but even- you talk about a little Russell because you, I mean, you, initiated you know the look of the show so much with the ramping shots and all that kind of stuff and i'm guessing a lot of that was stuff you would use in coming out of the music video world like wh where did the ideas to film the club scenes the way you did and all that where did that come from yeah a lot of it obviously came back came from the music video world but also this is probably one of the the last remaining times when we we shot on super 16 mil it wasn't digital we shot on film and so the beauty of the film cameras uh, was that we did those radical things like ramping. We could turn the camera off and back on and off and so you get these flash frames. And, and so it was very organic. Um, and Tom, Tom Best was just extraordinary. Um, and so he'd, hand, he'd do the camera, or I'd hand hold the camera. Because uh, I remember, I think in the finale of the pilot or the, you know, the, the, the third episode or whatever, when Randy comes down the stairs at Babylon, Mm -hmm. And we had, here comes the boy or something blaring away. And I picked up the camera. We basically did it in one shot of him coming down the stairs and the glitter's falling and he's dancing with someone trying to make Gail uh, jealous and all that. And this one take thing, just like going with the music. And it went on for like two minutes. And it was just, yeah, there was such energy with everyone, the cast and the crew. It was wonderful. We were talking. I mean, of course, you, you, you know, your voice lived on all five years when you were there or not there. Anytime there was a ramping, someone would go, slow and normal. And <laughs> no. um, we, you know, we were talking with the other directors. About <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> we were talking with the other directors about how Queer Folk doesn't get enough credit for being at the forefront of cinematic television that it really was one of the first TV series that wasn't shot like conventional TV. And right. I, think, I think that the influence that the show had is, is huge, is huge. There's, you know, it really start, oh, pushed open, like kind of threw open the doors in terms of, of how, how do you want to shoot this? You can use all the tricks in the book. Yes. How do you want to highlight the emotional experience for the audience? And yes, was, yes, yes. Uh, it, it definitely, we, we had, we had a, a, a beautiful canvas to work on and uh, we were allowed to use the, um, whatever techniques we had and whatever felt right uh, for the emotional, the fun and whatever of the show. There were so many amusing times. But I remember in pre-production, we were outside the office and, uh, and the, on, the, on the grass and we were testing 
conditioner in a squirt bottle for the famous cum shot. <laughs> and so we're there and we put this, <laughs> the thing between our legs and we're out in the broad daylight in the grass and there's some workers across the street which we didn't quite notice at first and we're going struggle two and we're shooting and we're going, oh, that's a good one that's a good one and they were like they say i'm just going what <laughs> is happening <laughs> day one i remember day one of the shoot we were in um gail's apartment uh uh the big lofty apartment and we're doing the first sex scene between him and randy and it's all happening and it's like, this has never really been done on TV before. It's like, oh, whatever. And I remember the operator who was an ex-Marine, I forget his name, he was filming this and he just looked up and went, ah, so this is what it's about, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but then he turned out to be the most wonderful, like, just the, the initial shock, and I think it was like the second scene we did that on the day one. And it was like, might as well go in the deep end straight away. Um, yeah. Yeah, we tore the Band-Aid off pretty quickly on the show. We did. Speaking of Gail, is that a painting of him behind you? No, but the funny thing about that painting, I, I bought that painting in, in Toronto. But that, that's not Gail, that's, that's some boy with green hair and red lips. I know it's not Gail, but there's a lot about that bone structure right there that looks very Gail-esque. There's a great camaraderie on the set, you know? And also off the set, I remember we, with Hal, and I think what, maybe you joined us a couple of Sundays, but every Sunday we'd go for dim sums and hang out. It wasn't just a daily job, it was like, there was a great bonding with all, everyone. We were all ripped out of our lives, like except for Taya, none of us lived in Toronto, so we were oh, all right, yeah. we were yeah. all dependent on each other. We had we had more meals together that first year than than apart, I think. Yeah, and you know, and, uh, and it was great, and it really helped the show. It helped the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, just fantastic. And um, uh, yeah, do you remember the scene in the in the gym when Hal's? I think Hal was foreground, and he was doing the crunches. Mm -hmm. and, and we had to, had to do dialogue and the scene's about two minutes long and I had Hal doing uh, uh, and he's fairly fit but after about take 10 or 15 yeah. of various angles and uh, uh, doing these crunches and you guys chose very relaxing exercises in the background <laughs> very glamorous uh-huh, uh-huh uh -huh. And I don't think he could sort of Sit. get up for like an hour. He was like, <laughs> I think I came back for what, episode 18 and mm -hmm. 19. Yeah. Yeah, the, with the famous uh, or infamous um, um, steam bath scene. Um, that, isn't that the one where, <laughs> if, I, if I remember correctly, you, you went to move an extra and you grabbed him sort of from behind and your thumb slipped inside him? <laughs> they were also greased up. Uh, I, well, well, they were. They were. Well, they, they, they were meant to be. They were meant to be sort of <laughs> faux uh, performing and whatever. I, no. I remember um, the little assistant, the second, the third AD, uh, was went in at one point and came back and said, "Oh, this is the best day of my life." The best. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're going through we we did like i are in there for about two hours filming and whatever and um but the funny thing is when we finished filming and the all the smoke posy as the steam dissipated uh the place was full of condoms yeah. it was like ah we weren't really active were yeah. we yes yeah. yeah in those early years a lot of the background were partying partying yeah yeah yes uh, one incident where some background artists were in the bathroom and having intercourse and ended up uh, knocking the entire sink off the wall because they were up on the sink going at it. Oh, uh, so the sex was good, obviously. It was very good. At least we were promoting good sex. It's all the uh, respect to you for creating the template that no. all, the, all the other directors really kind of had to follow in and establishing that energy of the show. I mean, I remember, Peter, you probably do as well, that when I think we were well into maybe the seventh, shooting the seventh season of the show before we were allowed to see the, the episode. pilot. 
Yeah, we, we had not been allowed what? to see a lick of film. They were very deliberate of not letting us see anything. And they finally showed us the three-part pilot. We went over to Hal's place to watch it. And the thrill and the excitement it gave us and you know, Gail's first entrance, the way you shot, like you, you made that show exciting, you know? Um, yeah, it was a, a fun show, fun show. And uh, yeah, it will always, always be dear to my heart. Um, I tell you, I mean, it, 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 this show was uh, just was a milestone for me. Also, it was, uh, uh, it was so gratifying. And I mean, I remember get, going to the edit. I mean, I'd go to the edit every Saturday, and the editor, what was the, what was the editor's name? Uh, Bill Pooch. Bill Pooch. Pooch. Yeah. yeah, Bill Pooch. 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 Like Pooch. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and a very charming and applicable name. Very cute. Yes. Um, but. Um, he go there and, and he play me scenes and he put the most wonderful music on the rough cuts and he would turn to me and he'd be in tears. He was so, yeah, it was, it was, it was I used to love my Saturdays. Um, Russell, it's so good to see you. And, and we all truly, we owe you such a debt of gratitude. Oh you, no, I, listen, I owe all you, I, I, you guys, the whole cast, uh, you, 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 you just, get, you brought everything to the table. And you, you let all your emotions, uh, you, you just, you were raw, you were fabulous. And uh, it was just a, a pleasure. You made my life very easy because you, you just delivered. It was like, I oh, just turn the camera on, it's great. Because these guys, <laughs> seriously. Um, well, we thank you so you. much, Russell. Well, you, you guys be well. I love you all. Love you all. Stay safe. Love all you right, too. Thank you. Thanks, Russell. Bye. -bye. Bye. Stay safe. Bye bye.